It's easy to get started with Janice. If you haven't already done so, you'll want to chat with Janice and you'll want to add a chatbot. Uh, you can do that uh, up here as well. You'll see there's a few chatbots that have already connected to this workspace. So I'm currently in a workspace called Botsheets HQ and you can set up multiple workspaces and then you can connect multiple chatbots. Now, this provides some context about what conversational experience we're going to manage. And you'll see here that I have a number of alerts. Uh, a user explicitly requested help. In this case, uh, the chatbot had no response. And it keeps going. And these are actionable alerts that will take you right into the conversation. Now, these alerts are also managed directly through your bot settings. And so if you click Bot Settings, you'll see here that the default tab is Notifications. And you can set these alerts very easily. You just select the alert you want. You can enable or disable a sound. And these alerts are actually triggered through the browser. So you'll, you'll get alerts pop up on the right side of your screen. Uh, and you can click those alerts when they come in. Or you can access them through your conversation with Janice. So here you'll see the bot had no response. I want an alert for that. Negative sentiment. So a user is frustrated either with your business or with the, the conversational experience and your automation. So you'll probably want an alert for that. Here, a user explicitly requested help. This is keyword driven. So maybe they say, um, get me a human or an agent or an operator or assistance. So this will bring you in the, into the loop as well, and that's where you'll want to take over live. Errors and warnings. So these are at the platform level. So for example, if you connected a Facebook Messenger bot and you're messaging a user outside of the 24-hour window, which is uh, explicitly set by the Facebook platform, then Janice will alert you as well. And then we have dialogue flow and tense. So you can get alerts for any event in your conversational experience. Here you can see if the customer is impatient and we could detect that uh, and understand the intent of the user with the chatbot, we can set an alert for that and we can get brought into the loop. Now, we also have system alerts. And if you click over to the system alerts tab, you'll see that you can get notified when a conversation is assigned to you. Uh, and that is because a team can work in a Janus workspace and a conversation uh, it, it comes in to the workspace through your chatbot and you can assign the conversation to someone else on the team. Maybe it's a customer support request uh, and somebody else is better equipped to deal with it. Uh, <clears throat> so you can assign to different people when you see a conversation. And if you are uh, assigned a conversation, you can get notified. Uh, there's also private messaging in, the, in a, uh, a Janus workspace, and we'll look at that in a minute. But every time you're mentioned uh, by another workspace user, you'll get a notification as well. Uh, here you can see that uh, this is the name of the bot, and this is the dialogue flow agent. And you can always, if you're using a different dialogue flow account, you can just reconnect and switch the dialogue flow account. So your login with Janus is separate from your login with your dialogue flow account, and uh, or they could be the same. Uh, let's jump over to the inbox. And the inbox is where you're going to want to manage all of your conversations. And so once you've connected a chatbot to Janus and gone through the setup, that would be in your conversation with Janice. Uh, you'll then want to message your chatbot and you'll start to see conversations coming in here into the inbox. And one of the things that we've done here is we've made it really easy for you to train AI. After all, that is probably why you've signed up for Janice is you want to automate with Google AI. And the easiest way to train AI is to actually do that working directly from the transcripts. So if I scroll to the top here of this conversation, you can see that when I roll over a message from a user that I can click this button and I'm given options. 
And so if uh, Dialogflow understands the message, because Dialogflow has been trained to understand the message, then if you click this button, it'll go right to the intent, and you can edit the intent. If it dialogue flow does not understand the message because it hasn't been trained to understand the message, then you can just click this button and you can add a new intent or update an existing intent with the things that users might say. There's also other options as well. We provide pre-trained dialogue flow templates, or if you just want to answer some questions, uh, nothing fancy, and you want you don't have time to train dialogue flow then this is an, an easy option you can just add your frequently asked questions to a google sheet and you can import that to dialogue flows knowledge base so that is just a very basic way to train dialogue flow but it does have its limitations it is a good starting point though especially if you're not ready to invest time in training ai and it does take time finally if you need help from a professional or someone with skills in working with Dialogflow or Janus or any of our integrations, then uh, you can just click this button and we have a Janus bot on Facebook that will uh, collect your preferences and match you up with the people that are best suited for the job. So that is a getting started video for Janus and of course uh, you'll want to follow the Janus community on Facebook or find Janus on YouTube or check out our Medium blog uh, and you can get tips and tricks on how to take advantage of, of our capabilities. Also, if you're a Slack user, then you'll want to go to integrations and you'll want to discover that one of our integrations is Slack and you can learn more about that. And what that does is when you add Janus to a workspace, as I've done right here, then you can get alerts delivered to the workspace and you can uh, even pause and take over live and chat with users wherever they're messaging you uh, from the comfort of Slack. Janus will create channels, open a channel for you to chat with your user, pause your automation when you send a message from a Slack, and then resume your automation when you're done chatting. So we can transform an existing workspace like Slack, or you can just simply use Janus on the web and both your uh, Slack workspace and your web workspace are connected together. You can invite new users to the workspace and you can manage permissions for each user. In this case, I'm the workspace owner and this person has admin access and then other people on the workspace can have their own permissions. Maybe you only want them to train AI. So we, you give them that ability. Or maybe uh, some people are going to chat live with an end user, but other people don't have those permissions. Maybe you want people to not be able to change the permissions for other users in the workspace. Or maybe you don't want them to access billing. Check these boxes and you'll enable that permission. As well, you can control whether uh, a workspace user can interact with Janus here on the left. So those are the core uh, capabilities of Janus. And if you set up your Janus workspace, then you're the workspace owner. So if you just click workspace settings, you can see here I'm the owner. And if you're an agency and you want to transfer the ownership of the workspace to your client at some point, you just go into this list, select who you're transferring the ownership of the workspace to, and then just click save. And then they will become the workspace owner and that you'll see workspace owner next to that user here. And then they can set permissions for you. Uh, again, don't forget to invite users to the workspace. You just simply click the invite users button and you enter some email addresses here, set your permissions, and Janus will send the invitation. They'll get an email and remember to check you know, the appropriate folders. If it's you're using Gmail, check the promotions folder or check your spam folder just in case. Uh, and they'll get a link, they click the link, and they'll be added as a user to the workspace as well. Okay, good luck.